I've been feeling it lately. The pain of keeping a promise. And I had to endure all the weather and, you know, things like kidney stones and uh, foot infections, tons of blisters. And carrying the weight of a worthwhile cause. I've been smacked by rocks coming off the interstate. I've almost been hit by cars a good dozen times. Troy Yoakum's aches and pains and near misses pale in comparison to his mission beyond the miles. It's not about the walk. He started this trek across America last April. He's walked about 5,500 miles so far and has nearly 2,000 left. <laughs> Doing it all to muster awareness and raise money for struggling current military members, veterans, and their families, people suffering from injuries or post-traumatic stress disorder. I knew in my heart that it was the right thing to do. He says he's been disturbed by the ever-increasing military suicide rate. In 2009, the Army reported 162 suicides, the Marines 52, the Navy 48, and the Air Force recorded 41 suicides. Today, uh, I'll cross 31 million steps. Yoakum says he wanted to raise $5 million. He says he's nowhere close to that goal. Because of that, he plans to go through all the pain of another walk across America again, again, and again until he's made a difference. It's definitely a big wish of mine that these problems were erased, that they never happened. Um, but that's not the case, and, and that's why I walk. In Albemarle, David Cronodal, News 14, Carolina.